Okay, hi all. Just a quick video to show you how to convert your patches into Ableton devices and particularly how you can control those devices using MIDI in Ableton. So you should be familiar with this basic sampler patch that we've looked at in class. Um, what I want to do now is just go straight to Ableton and show you how we take this and make it into a live device. So here is Ableton. We've got um, Max for Live object, uh, sorry, option selected in the categories menu. Then under Max Instrument, you can double click that and it will open Max for Live get you a MIDI instrument channel strip here and you'll see that the device template has loaded automatically down here. Okay, so let's open that up. So this is the patch I want to import. I want to convert into a device and this is the template. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste the entire Max patch into the template window. There we go. Okay, now we can get rid of this, close this, forget about that. So, um, there are a few things that we need to think about here. The first thing is, which of uh, these objects um, do we actually want to see in our device? And the ones that you want to see, you want to select and you want to add them to presentation mode. So for example, the time stretch button could go into presentation mode. So you've got object, add to presentation, maybe the speed as well, select that, add to presentation. And notice each time I select an object and add it to the presentation mode, it gets a little pink highlight around it, okay? So let's take the sampler itself and let's throw in the live gain object two. Okay, so just to see what that looked like, if I click on presentation mode, Max takes away all the wires, all the junk, and just leaves me with the bare essentials that I need for my patch. Okay, to go back to that. Right. Um, the other thing to do here is a little bit of editing. We don't need the Easy DAC in this case because you'll notice up here the Max Instrument template has two special Max objects. It's got a MIDI in, which is where all the MIDI information comes from Ableton. We're going to pipe that into our Max patch. And it's got an object called Plug Out, which talks to Ableton. It sends the audio from the Max instrument out of the Max environment into the Ableton environment. So in a sense, this object here replaces the Easy Deck. So I can get rid of that. Okay. And what I want to do is take, instead of putting the um, left and right channels into the Easy Deck, I want to put them into Plug Out. Okay. Now, I'm actually just going to um, put both put this into both channel. So it's a mono instrument, but I'm going to have it coming out of left and right. Okay, you may have a more complicated stereo setup here. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a few comments. Comment is C, by the way. So I'm going to type here. Whoops. Time stretch on off. Put that next to my toggle button. And over here, speed. Okay, and I'm going to select those and add those to presentation too. So basically, I'm building myself a GUI, a nice looking interface. Okay, so here it is. Now, you noticed that there is a line here that says device vertical limit. What that means is that anything that is above that will appear in the Ableton window in this section here. Everything that's below that will not appear. But we're really only dealing with presentation mode anyway. So 
let's drag this and take this right down here underneath the live gain. Let's put the MIDI from live there. Let's get rid of that, we don't need that. And let's go into presentation mode and let's just start organizing ourselves a little bit. So we can put the sampler right in the top corner. We chuck the time stretch up here. The speed can go there. I'm sure you can make a better job of this than I am. It's just really quick. Okay, so let's save the instrument. Probably should have done that sooner. I'm just gonna call this sampler, save. Okay, and let me quit. So here it is, this is a sampler, but you can't see anything. So why is that? The reason, let's open it back up again, is because we need to select in our max patch, open in presentation. So, gone back into the max patch here. If we go into view, inspect a window, make sure all is checked and scroll down until you find under the view menu, you see open in presentation and you wanna check that box. Close that, save it again, shut the window and hey presto, now we've got our interface, yeah? Okay, good. So let's open it up one more time. Now, the one thing we need to sort out right now is the MIDI in, because what we're gonna do here is we're gonna rig up our MIDI keyboard and our MIDI keyboard is going to talk to live. Um, and live is gonna be set up to receive MIDI data from the keyboard and live needs to pass it through to Max. So the way we do that is we need to put in a new object, which is called MIDI pass. So you can just remember that MIDI in, need MIDI pass. And then if you roll your mouse over these outlets in MIDI pass, you'll see that the first one sends out a list of two values, which are packed together. One is pitch and the other is velocity. So they're the two values that we need. These are other, other MIDI values, but we don't need these right now. We just need what's coming out of this outlet. So I'm gonna use another object that we've seen once or twice called unpack. Unpack is used to, as it says on the tin, unpack lists. So there are two values here, which are being sent to unpack and unpack is splitting them up. Element, element one of the list is pitch and element two of the list is velocity, okay? So in the same way that we get stri um, strip notes sends us pitch and velocity out of its outlets, we're getting pitch and velocity out of there. In other words, we can now just send this value straight into select, which is going to override this one, so we can delete that. And we can send this value into scale and get rid of that. And of course, actually, we can get rid of note in and strip note because as I said, the MIDI data is coming from live into Max. Okay, so then we can, and I highly suggest you do, tidy our patch up so it looks a bit neater. Good programming generally comes from organized patching, organized thinking. Um, and let's see what's going on here. Have we sorted this out? So save that. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is now we sorted our Mac side of things out. We now need to make sure that live is set up correctly for MIDI. Now I don't actually have a MIDI keyboard attached to my computer right now but I'm going to show you what you would do if you were in um, a computer lab using the Elisa's keyboards. So go to Preferences, go to MIDI Sync, and here you've got a whole list of possible um, control surfaces. So select the surface that you're using and make sure that's selected. And make sure also that these buttons are on for output. Uh, you don't need to worry about this and that should, all being well, work. Now, I'm gonna use um, 
an option that is built into Ableton, which is to use your computer MIDI keyboard, computer keyboard as um, uh, a MIDI keyboard. So I can literally use the letters, and that that's what this is here. That's why that's selected. So if I now press a record arm on my um, uh, on the on the sampler channel, I should find. There we go. I'm pressing D. I can play this instrument using my keyboard. Okay, and then I can do all the. Um, oh, that's on. Sorry, that's on on loop. Get rid of that. Now I can root this and record it, and so on and so forth. So it's record armed, and now if I record. Okay. And now I can do whatever I want with that. As usual, I can send it to other audio channels, etc. Okay. Right, so that should be all you need to know for that, for rigging up MIDI devices in Ableton. Any questions, let me know.